let me pray for you multiplied visions and spiritual experiences matter no you will not go far this is a price for the crown that you so desire and so admire God is not a magician he doesn't make charms there is a pathway number six quickly two more and we're done this is a very serious one and I want you to listen to it when God brought this I prayed this even for my own self even before writing it resist the pressure of pride competition and vain glory very serious one resist the pressure this is the sixth instruction resist the pressure of pride competition and vain glory proverbs chapter 16 please and verse 18 let me tell you something in my little life i i am yet to know the one thing that destroys faster than pride please we must trust god you know why i'm saying this because we are going to see results that will dumbfound us this year and chances are that when those results come our hearts can be haughty and can be lifted proverbs 16 18 pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall when satan wants to throw you he sends pride he sends a haughty spirit you must resist it society can massage you into pride do you know what pride is coming to a position where you fail to see like vashti that you are all you are because of god vashti never apologized to the king even when she embarrassed him the bible has no record of vashti coming to say king i'm sorry no there was no record even when vashti was banished you see a relationship between Vashti and Mordecai and Haman. It was very clear that the king was weak because he didn't want to banish her. And pride goes before a fall. Let me tell you this. I have seen in my little life people rise to the sky and crash down in dishonor. With all due respect, there are men of God around the world that at one point or the other, God helped them marvelously and for some reason their hearts became haughty and now it's almost as if you make reference to their past reject pride is something i have asked god to give me grace to to fight because it's very easy to be proud you know people come here and you see them acknowledging apostle joshua selman this and that mm -hmm. thank god for those things but let me tell you pride can kill pride is like an arm robber it can be dangerous it can come into your house like a, an arm bandit and strip you of everything that represents honor in your life are we together let's look at one scripture and we're done proverbs 29 and verse 23 resist the pressure of pride competition and vainglory a man's pride shall do what bring him down but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit what will uphold the, the humble honor there is a relationship between humility and honor god gives you increase and gives you a platform and you say lord i thank you but may it never enter my heart and while men are clapping god says no problem receive the applause but let them know don't just say lord me and you we know mm -mm. let them know that you are the doer and god says you do this for me step into a new level a new level of increase this humility check is something that i want you to do for the rest of your life not just for this year two points under this embrace true humility as a lifestyle and a value system embrace true humility as a lifestyle and a value system one of the ways that the lord helps me to stay humble is by always giving me visions of the past if for any reason you forget where god brought you from then you are already on your way to destruction 
the do you know esther almost made the same mistake of vashti that's to tell you that it the the seat itself had tendencies it was not about vashti it was about the inability it, mordecai was the bailout for esther otherwise she would have followed the route of vashti it was only a matter of time and mordecai said remember remember madam remember that's how one day god will see you when people are clapping for you you know when people clap for me and send me text messages i receive hundreds of text messages every day and over 80 to 85 percent of them are people from different nations of the world your message has blessed me apostle of the nations apostle of this elijah of our time moses of our time and i know that they are just innocently trying to say you are a great man and we appreciate you and i look at those things and i look at myself in the mirror i said mr man the day you become proud the day you let this enter your head and forget you were once a young boy confused and scattered that God took by his grace and mercy the day you allow the bounties of the palace to make you forget that once upon a time you begged for food that day you disqualify yourself from the flow of grace God truly opposes the proud I have seen this wreck the lives of pastors I've seen this wreck the lives of business people. I've seen this wreck the life of people generally. There used to be this song. Um, I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. How can I forget? I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will never forget. I will not forget. Let it not be that when you have built houses and you have done this and that you will say my power and the might of my hand has given me these riches he said but thou shall remember it means you can forget influence can make you remember god but forget his faithfulness money can make you remember god but forget his faithfulness God, may I never get there. Oh, I'm asking you in the presence of your people. Let it not happen to me. If it means closing doors, close it. I rather remain at the level that will keep me useful than to get to a level where you become Ichabod. Oh, you once were anointed. You once were great. A haughty spirit is like pouring oil on steps. The terrible thing with pride is that your fall is seen by all pride is so deadly it supervises your fall and you must touch the ground please pray one minute and curse the spirit of pride some of them this pride has destroyed some of our family members it has destroyed many people pride has a track record of destruction clot yourselves with humility koinonia this is god's word for us we're a ministry that god has helped but be careful he has made the list among us like david but be careful lest you begin to scorn at other ministries let you begin to scorn at other men of god scorn at other people's achievements no that's not the spirit of the christ humility oh god i've done my life i am truly nothing without you never be ashamed to let the world know you are nothing without him i will never forget oh. hallelujah powerful secret every time you are praying with god cry that prayer lord bless me oh sam you are an exceptional worshiper in fact let me tell you how people act in fact all these musicians in nigeria they are not up to one tenth of you now at first you will resist it consistency is what creates conviction not truth 
anything consistently repeated to you becomes a conviction including flattery joshua selman sam ah you are this and that and that and that and first sam says now have a glory be to god and later he says it's true it's true alexander the way you are elijah no no glory be to god but it's true taylor make me elijah's regalia let me shut down rain and this and god said no the way i love you but i'm consistent to my values and not even my love for you will stop it not every destruction is caused by satan god himself can bring men down trust god for grace this year koinonia let this be a trait in us that people don't have to say you attend koinonia just by you chanting tongues that they look at your life and say this person is you no know, this humility we can trace you to this ministry are we together you are a boss in office or you are this clothe yourself with humility towards your workers many bosses act as if they will never leave the job that's why when it's time to retire the members are happy they are praying and the moment the people retire loyalty is not there again let people miss your presence so much they go out of their way to want to see you the reason is because you demonstrate do you know the kind of message that comes when you are great yet humble i have met people with all humility our daddy prof here every time i see our daddy here truly speaking uh, that is one of the inspirations that has kept me humble alongside the leaders of cgc and i say this with all my heart i have learned humility from them genuine truthful humility when people who have gone ahead of you don't see a reason to say anything it should bring you back to your knees to say lord help me let the little that god has done and is doing around the world through this ministry not get to us and, and i'm saying this even for the workers be careful because sometimes we can respect those above us but show our pride to those below us you are still proud you are just skillfully proud but you are proud avoid it embrace humility it's a prayer that i pray all the time let no amount of influence let no amount of lifting those of us who are in ministry i do this in the open because it's true but i do it too so that you will learn because the truth is that some of us have not gone far we have not started anything quite honestly but the, the haughtiness of heart will not allow us to humble ourselves and learn music ministers learn this too because music ministers are some of the people who pride can swallow them overnight one song can reach somewhere and everybody becomes very proud and no the moment people are clapping for you turn and join them to clap for the one who without you are nothing take god out of koinonia you would think we have been holding a charm all through because god is the secret i say this in the open what i'm saying will be millions of people around the world will be listening to it i will still say it after 10 years it is i told god something i prayed a prayer and i said oh god it's a prayer i cried to god and he answered i said never show me the full extent of my impact just show me a little and that's enough for me in other words let me never know how far you want to receive jesus as your lord and personal savior can you repeat these words after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I declare that you are the Son of God. You came into the world and you died. On the third day, you rose again. I believe in the resurrection. Holy Spirit, fill my heart now. I receive eternal life because I have been washed right now with the blood of Jesus. Thank you for saving me. I declare you are my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you right now. 
that you are establishing God. You are kept in God. The God who is able to keep you from falling will sustain you the rest of